Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the RK Tokens podcast. Of course, we are the RK Tokens. I am the anomaly Will Farrow. Yo, Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And on today's episode, we only got one thing we got to talk about. You see the dubs up. Good old WandaVision. Uh, if you saw last Thursday, um, the series finale aired. Um, and as they have spoken to the director of the show, there are, uh, as of this time, as he said, no plans for a second season of WandaVision. So, um, fellas, the series finale aired. And um, yeah. mm-hmm. let it up. Yeah. Yeah. You, have, you know, you have a. Uh, you ever meet a woman you just really excited about, and you just you 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 you, you, you swear this is gonna go well. You and swear, it. you, you swear by it. Then you kind of wake up the next day. It was like I was satisfied, but I don't think there's gonna be a second serving. <laughs> serving? Yeah. Serving. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I understand 100% where you're coming from with this. It's our fault for being super fans. It's yep. our fault for being so invested that we created what might be, what could happen. We wanted, we wanted it to just, we wanted it all. We wanted a full buffet of, of everything that was left, uh, you know, kind of up to a mystery leading up to WandaVision. Yeah. This could be the thing. And we saw so many great hints. But at the same time, I got to give it to the producers. They knew how to keep us uh, uh, hooked from week to week. They knew what they were doing. Mm-hmm. They gave us just bits and pieces, allowed us to have our own theories in our heads. Seven days later, we're right back at it. Yep. But for the for the finale, man, uh, we knew from the very beginning this was going to lead into um, uh, Doctor Strange, you know, Multiverse of Madness. So So great setup. We officially have the Scarlet Witch with her real outfit and her little crown. That was probably the the best takeaway of the whole episode. There you go. That was about it. It was like, like, what what was crazy about it was like, that was one of my things I had already said. Like, you know, like me and my uh, my homeboy, uh, Bobby Digital, shout out to him. Um, we, you know, we all get like we do coming up with the theory. So like mine was always kind of to combat what he did. Cause I had always, kept saying like I don't think like what we think is gonna happen ain't gonna happen and just has as you said from a producer standpoint so it's just like even though what he was saying made a lot of sense like we said with Magneto the Sokovia trying to tie all this stuff in my theory always was you gotta think like these producers Mm. and it was like yes Magneto was dope why would you why here would you premiere that you would not premiere one of the biggest fucking what mutant like favorite characters yeah. as a small like cameo yeah. in one division. Yeah. So um, it was cool, but I, I will say it was cool to see that it was about her. I will I will take away that I like it was more about her than what we were thinking it was about to be about. Yeah. And I do kind of like that. What it feels like to me is like because I have a few more episodes left. Um, but you know, like you know how like in Dragon Ball Z, there's like those transitional episodes where they're in the city and they're wearing like regular clothes and they're like going to like restaurants and stuff, and there's just like chatters of the next enemy, like android and stuff. It feels like just like a really good like transitional. I think that's why they chose TV instead of a movie. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like because this could have been a movie, also like a really mm-hmm. dope movie, but also it's just like I feel it just feels like the that like a really well written transitional phase just to like, like you guys were saying, like to yeah, set up yeah. for the next the next thing. So I, I could see why they didn't go like blockbuster, huge mm-hmm. ending. Um, but I, I mean, I, I could see why that would be surprising that they didn't also <laughs> after yeah. the, the hype. Yeah, I mean, but I, like you said though, I, I get it too. And, and I think you just made it as the perfect analogy for that. It's kind of like, it, even to keep in the Dragon Ball Z reference, it's like the Garlic Jr. saga. People yeah. forget that's a saga. Like, people don't like that. People, I feel like this no, was no, no, better no, than the. No, 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 no. Not, not, not to compare it as story to story, but that's that in between part that we have to have before we get to the next big one. And so it was like that's what this was. So it's like 
you don't want too much exposed here because then it's like, okay, we do that. And now we go into, you know, the next one that's coming out, which is a uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And it's just like, oh, okay, so we thinking that's going to be the next. Oh, who y'all finna have coming here? Red Skull coming back? Oh, is y'all finna get there? Like, no, no. So I'm kind of glad that they took the TV show to do like how we see now on Netflix. It's like, yo, Daredevil. This was about Daredevil. Just like Wanda, this is about Wanda. This is about like what she's really about to become and how she's going to impact inside the MCU. So I was like, okay, I, I don't knock that. But it was, I will say, a little lackluster. It's our own fault, though. It's yeah. our own fault. We should, like, we should not have got this hype and this invested. Not to say they did anything wrong. No, They didn't do all. anything wrong. It's nope. our fault for making it feel the way that we did. Uh, but I, again, it's, it was a great series from beginning to end. When I went to D23 before, you know, when they first announced this thing, I remember when they put the images up on the screen and they had uh, both the leads come out and I saw the black and white photo of the, you know, doing the I Love Lucy thing. And I was like, what the hell is it? Like, how is this gonna tie? I had no idea. Cause it was so different. We just got over Endgame mm -hmm. and Infinity War. So yep. to see them walking out and then it's really like a WandaVision series and she they're gonna they're gonna they didn't even tell us that they'll be going through different eras of television. I didn't get it. But then boom, they, they the WandaVision series starts and I think it's a hard watch for anybody the first two because you don't understand what's happening. Yeah. You don't get it. You're like, this is this is so dumb. This is and not if something you, and, and just a, uh, uh, on that too, if you weren't a fan of shows like that that's really not going to appeal to you. Like, that's why, like, Patty and I actually, like, like, do you used to watch, like, I Love Lucy? You were like, no. So I was like, yo, that's that's the reason why. And it's like, we've definitely are now in an age where, like like I said, we always tend to forget 20 years has passed since 1999. So it's like, yo, kids don't watch Nick at Night. Like, people don't remember. Like, we didn't keep up with that, like, how we were taught in the 90s. Like, yo, them shows are gone. Like, Malcolm in the Middle is vintage to them. Like, oh, that's old school right there. Like, what? I remember when Malcolm Middle aired, like new episodes came out. Yeah. So I can say, I can, that's how I can tell, like that first episode, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. They did, they did good, man. They did great. And, um, you know, you feel for Wanda a little yeah. more. It only makes you question. I think my takeaway from this overall for this series is, uh, you know, where, where are they placing Wanda with all this? Because that last, you know, 20 minutes of this last episode really makes you question where we're going with her specifically because there there's her embracing the other side quite possibly is she gonna be now the antagonist to the situation like what's going on with her now i don't see here's the thing like after, after watching it again uh you know um we're, we're gonna give the spoiler alert um you know advisory we're gonna try to keep as much as not detailed in it or anything like that but try to keep it very as vague as we can but you know people put two and two together and they'd be like man you ruined it for me so you know spoiler alert spoiler mm. alert mm. um what what made me question that is her actions when they in the final fight scene and even with the military like the acts mm. that she did so if she was to fully embrace it's like why do that mm. you know what i'm saying so I think more like seeing that uh, that second credit made me understand now, really, it's still the same thing. The thought process didn't change. Mm. I still want what I want, no matter what. I want what I want. Now I have the power to go get it. But also, go too, it. I know not to do it to where it's going to affect anyone. I let my emotions get the best of me. Now it's in check. But I still want what i want for sure there's a line that's uttered like right toward the very end and it's the same line that we heard 20 to 30 minutes before then and i'm like oh she's doing what strange did mm -hmm. she's looking through different to figure out what how to fix this said situation well no no, no 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 so that's what i thought there's another thing i'm thinking too so here's my here's my thing Remember what old girl said, once a spell is cast, it can't be undone. It can't be changed. Mm -hmm. So in my eyes, I feel like they didn't go nowhere. They just got transferred somewhere. And where it could be is within the multiverse of madness or within the chaos magic. But also too, 
we know who her kids are attached to in the comic. Right. So he may have them now. My thing is, Agnes saying that is all cap. It's all cap. All of it. Right. If a spell couldn't be, if a spell couldn't be changed after it's been cast, then all of those people wouldn't be able to come back to actual realization of who they are. Well, that's why I said it, it's been transferred somewhere. So think of like when we delete something off a computer, it don't really get deleted. It just goes somewhere where we now no longer have to see it or be on our uh, our computers. I, so the, go ahead. So the same theory with that, all that stuff and no spells just got transferred into somewhere else along with whatever was remaining. And I feel like that's also what she's searching for. Where did they go? My theory is that she was she's doing the Doctor Strange situation similar to Infinity War with him looking through different uh, scenarios, well, however many he looked through, a million something, one billion something, something 53. I always remember the 53 mm -hmm. at the end. Exactly. My theory is that she's doing that to then try to go and figure out a different situation out of that. But I, I don't see a situation out of that. So if there's no situation out of that, that means Strange is going to pick up on it somebody's messing with all the magic and he gonna try to make his way toward her. And then that's how we get the multiverse of madness. And it's gonna be a battle of wits between these two. The witch, versus, the witch versus the sorcerer. Which was mentioned that she's more powerful than he is. Yeah, she's more powerful than everybody. Wanda Vision is more powerful. Wanda's more powerful than, um, Pat, you, you watched X-Men growing up. Mm -hmm. So you do know like in canon of X-Men that Wanda, is Magneto's daughter. Mm -hmm. And for years, she was technically a mutant. Yeah. And then uh, several years later, they retconned that situation. It's like, oh, she's actually not a mutant. She, I didn't know about that. She what? is a omniversal entity, meaning she's the only one in all the actual universe. She's... There is, there is no... Like, you know how we have different Captain Americas and different Supermans? There's yeah. a, like just like there's only one Wanda. Yes. There she's is no multi. Person. She's yeah. in every single universe. It's her. So how? How is that possible? I, but that's the thing. You do, they don't explain it. That's just the fact of it. She's the only one in all of the universe. That's why she's the strongest. What also think like about so, so what's funny about it, and they and people hate when I use this analogy, but it's so fucking true. It's pretty much like Jet Lee's the one. So think about it. Jet Li started killing himself off and grew more powerful because now there's less energy going around this multiverse of you. So you're not spread thin anymore. Mm -hmm. So now you're able to bend reality. You're able to do these other things. And so, so that's why he kept killing himself off. With Wanda, there's no one else to combat and take through, through her energy through the universe. And then not only that, she's forged through what's called chaos magic. And so that's why it's like there's, there's like like Technically, there's several different forms of magic. So it's like there's the the uh, sorcerer's magic, like you see with the runics, like how Doctor Strange stuff and stuff does, and and shit. And so like when you get a little further to the story, um, you'll see one of the witches that pop up in there. Uh, Pat, she'll be using purple. So that's like dark magic and everything. Like you saw when Doctor Strange went to Dormammu and everything was kind of like them purple hues and stuff. That's a representative of dark magic. And then blue magic, that uh, kind of that same form, is that purity uh, for witches. But then there's another form that's forged out of chaos. That's yep. red? Yeah. And so that's what she has. And so where it even makes it worse is that power that she has makes her a witch. But what, it, what, what her signature was, was being able to manipulate and warp your reality mentally. Then she got fused with a mind stone that allowed that to amplify that power. Now you can literally create reality and alter reality. So that's how she made WandaVision? That's how she made Westview. But so, she didn't know she did that. So just think like a witch, you know, like how a witch got to cast spells to do stuff. Mm -hmm. Imagine you thinking it is the spell. Oh, so she wasn't... Uh actively doing all that no so, so just she hide it how'd she hide it then she hid so you know she hid it from herself because she didn't know she was a witch that's how powerful she is she because again like throughout may even like throughout the comics she doesn't know how powerful she is and then also too 
the no, biggest she's not thing. She's a witch. She uses her powers. No, she doesn't until she finds out she's one. Like, like she, like you'll watch it within the show. Like she doesn't know where this power generates from. In her eyes, she thought the Mind Stone gave her her powers. When uh, it didn't, it just amplified it to astronomical levels. But she, but even in the comic book, that didn't happen. But she still was the most powerful one. Like this girl could literally destroy reality by saying it. She's like a legend, like the Scarlet Witch is a legend in witch history. Yeah. Like one happens every so-called millennium and it just happens to be Wanda is that one mm -hmm. at this time throughout yeah. the years of like witches. But how do you live uh, even two realities at the same time, let alone infinite? You, as far as her being like the one out of yeah. all? I, that's the thing, they never, the fact that they even came out and let us know as fans that is really weird because you can't picture it. You can't really think of like how she just, if, if we have a, a Captain America, the one we know at MCU, then we got a black Captain America in another universe and then an Asian Captain America. In another, that's how we see it. That's what we know is the truth of Marvel or like the different universes. But they came out and let us know that there's only one Wanda in all of these realities and she's there. She's there experiencing all of these same realities at the same time, but it's not multiple versions of her. It's just one. Yeah. So it's really it's hard to like contemplate how that works, but all we know, all we have is comic books to tell us that. Well, here's my theory is that I don't think Wanda is human. And I know it's gonna kind of sound like no, no, mute. not not a mute. What I, she's what, not what, a mute. No, no, it's not that either. What I think she is, and I think they'll start to pop that off a little bit more, is there's this balance that you have to have and where it has to force from somewhere. So I think what she is, is literal pain and suffering. Like, you know, like how the gods of like death is, I think that's what she is. So she is supposed to be this energy that takes in suffering. That is way, it Quicksilver her brother? No, not really, not technically. What? Yeah, because think about it. If she's not human, that ain't her brother. I was about to say, and he's kind of trash in the in the powers department. That oh, don't he, even make sense. Yeah, he, he of course Quicksilver's her brother. Yes. Quicksilver is in common I mean, with her biological twin brother. All right. But Where's why she why she get the the, the That's what I'm soul saying. Witch, the soul witch universe god powers and he got really fast. In That's comics, what I was they didn't give you the explanation. Hey, this is Magneto's kids. One's a witch, one's a speedster. That's but how it. she how she catch all that work and all he got is quick feet. Y'all, you see now y'all trying to now you're just trying to break down facts. Like I'm just saying, to, like you got I like it don't make sense to me. Yeah, like you got all that. You mean to tell me you don't break like into different multiverse because you can run so fast and some stuff like that. Like you just quick and then in the MCU you weren't quick enough as we can see. Like he got popped. That's anyway. like if Goku and Krillin were like blood brothers. <laughs> if I was Krillin, I'd be like, fam, what? <laughs> oh, Y'all trying to plague my man Quicksilver like he ain't with all the smoke. Shout out the only Quicksilver version I think I've liked so far is the one in the X-Men Evolution cartoon. You guys remember that one? Yes, I did remember that. I he love was that version of He Quicksilver. was an a-hole, but I loved him. Yeah, man. But still F him, because he's the reason why all the mutants got killed. So he still ain't shit. Yeah. 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 His old dumb ass. Like, how you gonna but we didn't get House of M. Let's just keep it a buck. We did get House of M. And that's okay. That's okay. Sorry. We got other things to look forward to. They'll roll out the mutants in a different way. I think it's okay to embrace the fact that Wanda is not a mutant. Yeah. So we won't see the tie in the Magneto. I'm not ready for that. Is she, a, is she a celestial then? Would that be so. what she is? I don't think so. I think she's a witch. She is, she, look, in the, the lore of witch history, according to what they're building in the, the MCU, she is the one that comes every millennium. She yeah. just happens to be that powerful. But you gotta remember too, like what? But they, when they say it, she's forged. So what is she forged from? Yeah. So that's the thing that I gotta know. Like, like it cool. Like that's understandable that she can't like you know every night. But like where? Like where is that source from? Because remember, all of them draw from something. What was the book that she, that she was reading? What, the book of the said? damned. The book of the damned, right? Yeah. So she was learning not only about herself, because like she said, the lady said there's a whole chapter in there about her. So not only did she learn that, now she also learned about everything else that's in that book. We're going to see, man. I, listen, I, I'm not disappointed. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not. 
I was. I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm just being. We're just being angry and petty kids because we didn't get X Men uh, <laughs> things. And Pat, when you see it though, from just even the perspective of what you watched it, you gonna enjoy it. He's gonna enjoy it's, it. Yeah, it's still gonna there's be stuff in there as a as a, someone that's brand new to it. You're gonna be like, oh, that's dope. Like yeah. there's some dope. Like the last episode, has, first half, I was like, where are we going with this? This shit lit. <laughs> I was like, oh. And then I was, I was like, like what's about to go down? Yeah. But uh, they did good, man. And for for that to be the ultimate payoff, leading into um, the multiverse of madness for Doctor Strange, I'm excited for. I'm I'm really these guys just they got it figured out. Yeah. They they know how to, to tell a great story to us as fans, so we'll see. Yeah, but we ain't gonna see until next year. It's, we got basically two years left until the Multiverse of Madness comes to come out December 2022. So, Dang. yeah. All right. Well, there it is. Which is weird, though, because we still got a lot of stuff to go, but uh, we can definitely get into that um, on another episode because we don't want to give too much of just just the Wanda 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 division and stuff. So um, just make sure that y'all continue to check out the RK Tokens podcast. Um, subscribe, follow, turn on the notifications for everything uh, YouTube wise, Twitch wise, social media handle wise, and stuff. Um, rolling out, we're going to definitely be talking about this. More things coming out, rolled out through HBO Max as far as like movies wise, TV shows, video games, the whole shebang. Like- Justice, Justice League. League. So Thanks. get get ready for that episode. Gonna be talking okay. Justice League, getting ready to uh, come out as well. So um, until next time, we've been RK Tokens. I'm Anomaly Will Ferro. Yo, Thomas, I came to Slick Live. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we will catch you next time. Uh,